classical economics, as, as I see it at least, doesn't seem to pay any attention to the actual physical world. It talks entirely in terms of markets and the exchange of goods and services and money and labor and so on. And uh, it just, it's a, it, in effect, it assumes that the physical material that all of this is going to manipulate will always be there. And the, the different kinds of physical material will always be available in whatever quantities the, uh, the market calls for. And so the favorite uh, response by the typical economist to uh, any concern about a shortage of this or that or the other thing is, well, the shortage will make the price go up, and as the price goes up, there will be more incentive to go and find more. And so the, uh, whenever, they, whenever they even say it quite in those terms, uh, as the price of gasoline rises, there will be more incentive to build refineries, and there will be more incentive to drill in various places. Uh, they act as if incentive is the only issue, rather than the actual physical availability of the resource that you're going to try to go and find. And I think that what we have become, in a way, in the modern industrial era, is another hunting and gathering society. Uh, we think of hunter-gatherers as uh, primitive people when they just relied upon the largesse of nature. Well, we've become, in a massive, colossal way, hunters and gatherers. We hunt for all of these non-renewable resources and then we, what we call production, which should be called extraction, is a gathering process. We bring it to where we can use it and we use it up and we go and hunt for more and, uh, without regard to how fast nature produces these things, uh, produces in the real sense of the word produce.